All right, guys. Well, thank you for purchasing or uh, coming out and checking out this game starter kit. It's for throwing objects. What do you like to make? Maybe a game that uh, you throw a ball and hit some cans off a wall or a basketball game or something similar to this one here that I've created. And it's called the Bomb Frenzy. This game is meant for mobile, so it's currently... Uh, for swiping and finger touch you are able to click the buttons with your mouse but other than that the other functionalities uh, do require your finger so the main screen and the game screen are completely independent you can load each one separately without loading the main screen first here you just have a simple play button with a title and a settings like a button here that you can put more uh, features in really easy here to customize you got your canvas and main menu with your button you can change your on button click I'm simply showing my weight screen like that and then playing a little pop sound and load in the next scene and then of course my title Feel free to change that to yours. Over here now in the game scene, um, you'll see that I have this iPhone checker on both scenes. Uh, iPhone X checker. What this does is just that iPhone X has a different orientation. And so this checker will just kind of make everything fit correctly and look good on the iPhone X. So first thing you'd have is simply a bomb spawn point. And this is just a position in space where the bomb spawn. It's the one that spawns right in front of the screen right here. So wherever you want your bomb or object that you're throwing to spawn, you just put that there. Please do note that the name of the object is important. Bomb spawner point with a capital B, S, and P. Just a main camera. A box spawner so the area where the boxes are spawning randomly and then drift in towards the left of the screen and then a damage manager uh, this is where I handle my scoring and you can feel uh, free to play around with that uh, there was other things that were uh, features that were within the game that has been removed, but not all of the code for those have been removed. And then some other initializers um, and the sky, of course. As the game progresses, the background sky does change. And uh, this is where that happens. You can always use your own and remove these and put your own ones in there. Now, if you'd like to change what is being thrown, you can do that progressively throughout the game, or you can set your own manually here. So the object to throw controller has a prefab bomb, and you can simply replace that with your own. Note that the size and having the script on it is all that's really important. So if I wanted to create something new, for example, uh, let's see. I'll just make a cube and uh, I'll need a couple of things. First of all, uh, also look at the tag. It must be player, must be layer bomb. So I'll go to my cube, change it to player, layer bomb. I need a rigid body and the throw rocket script. And that's really all I need. <laughs> You can see it's already spawned where it needs to be. And then I really got to resize it down. So just resize it down to so it matches somewhat of, of the bomb size. Let's see here. Probably go a little bigger. There we go. And then turn it into a prefab. Just drop it down into the folder of your desire. 
I can now delete it from the scene and replace it here. So I'll put my cube instead. And with the game save, I'll just show you a full run through from the top. So main scene, you can go ahead and hit play. I'll do this on my tablet. Oh, almost forgot to tell you about the ads ready. There's no code that required for this. It's simply uh, the Unity ad. So just make sure that you have your Unity ad services enabled. Then all of this should not be red. And then it will just pick up the rewards video um, placement ID. There's no need for any of your ad ID numbers. Alrighty, so I'll go ahead and hit start. And now I should have a cube instead. <laughs> oh, one other thing I did not do. If I can at least hit one. It's kind of heavy. The cube is uh, the weight of the cube. Notice the bomb here. The mass is just a 0.5 and mine is actually a 1. If I just do that, then I should be set. So guys, um, again, thank you for checking this out. This is perfect for anyone that just wants to make any kind of game that's similar to this one where you can just throw stuff and blow stuff up. Got it. Also the pop-ups. The way that works is if you hit the bullseye, you get a perfect and then the score goes up. But you can always change that um, within the prefabs themselves. So they have a good and bad. And I'll show you what those are. There's a good and a bat. So you have your target anytime you hit anywhere here. And then these other points would be um, like a perfect or good or nice. And you get a, a better score for that. Now as for the pop-up for the good, nice, and great, those are these right here. Good, great, nice, perfect. So you can always change these. Um, you can simply go to the image source and change them from, you see mine says perfect, from what it has here to what you desire. Again, guys, thank you guys for checking it out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.